Hi folks, I've just done a short video uh, on how to use Stop Motion Studio. You can see there that uh, I provided the links. Uh, if you're an Apple user, iPhone, that's the link. Get that from the App Store. Um, if you're Android, uh, that's the link there for, uh, and I, um, there's a few of them, but that's the one I provided is from Google Play. So you can see I've gone and downloaded uh, it already and um, I have a few up here and I just want to go through what they are. The first one on the left is uh, the blue one. The blue one is free. So if you uh, go on to either Apple or Google, you will get the blue one for free. So you don't have to pay for it. The purple one, if you uh, want to, I think it's about seven euros 10, or 10 euros, depending on what platform, you can, it will give you green screen. Um, it'll give you more filters, it'll give you more uh, sound uh, sound effects and more themes. Uh, there's a lot more in it. Uh, you don't necessarily need it. Uh, you could actually uh, do the whole project uh, just with uh, the blue one. Um, if you want to use your laptop and if you want to use your phone as your camera, you could use your laptop for the, uh, the actual program and you could use your camera remotely. Um, so to, to do that, you need to get that app. You don't really need that. Um, you could do everything on your phone. So go in and um, we're gonna start and click on stop motion. That will bring this up. And uh, you can see that that's one from the beginning of the year that's there. And that's just test one. So we're going to uh, click in new movie. So we're in new movie and uh, uh, you can see that I have the background already set up that I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, before we start, we need to go into the settings. The settings is on the left hand side, it's the cog. I've highlighted there, click on it. Go into, when you go into the settings, uh, the first one is frame rates per second. So uh, I have it at 12 frames per second. We've talked about using 24 frames per second. Uh, I would use 12, it's a lot, lot easier. So uh, scroll it up and down and it'll bring it uh, to 12. Fade, no, I'm not going to use fade. Aspect ratio, very important. Uh, uh, the, what do you want the output of this to look like? Widescreen, super wide. Do you want it, do you want it to be a square? Uh, do you want it to be like a, a, like a phone? Uh, um, I'm picking myself uh, 4.3, sort of standard TV size. So that there, uh, the reason why I'm doing that is so that my background isn't huge. Just be aware that if you're using super wide or wide screen, your background will have to be wide. Foreground, you can use foreground, uh, you can import new foregrounds, but that, that's only really if you have the purple app. Uh, you can see there, uh, the, like, well, let's just explain the first one, uh, it's, it's like binoculars. Um, so it'll put that on the foreground and you'll be able to see your animation through that. Uh, that's something that you could use, I'm not going to use. This one here is filters. Uh, on the blue one, you don't have many filters. Uh, on the purple one, you have a lot more filters. So um, if you haven't, don't have anything there, you're in the blue one. Uh, if you want filters like sepia tones or st stuff like that, yeah, uh, you need to get the, uh, the purple one. Now, quality. This is important. I've set it a HD, but if, uh, there's a lot of people out there that are going to have problems with the internet and stuff like that. So you could uh, set it at SD. The higher you have it, um, if you go up to um, uh, 4K, the size of the file is going to be huge. Um, so I recommend that you go uh, on a, 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 a lower setting. So, um, but if you want it uh, pretty good, and it's pretty, it is good, and uh, go for HD. Playback, playback. What I have set it up and what I like to use is the um, uh, loop. So when you press play, it uh, uh, plays it, and then loops it again, plays it. Uh, you can select just to play, or um, but uh, I like uh, to do the loop setting. So once you've that done, we have one for the thing to do. So um, we, what you need to do is tap on the camera and that'll bring you uh, on, uh, into your animations uh, setup. So we're ready to animate now, um, but what we have to, there's a few things you need to uh, look at on the screen. On the left hand side, uh, you have a big long line with a black uh, dot, uh, sort of black dot in the center and, uh, and a white dot. 
that is your onion that is um so uh, you can see the previous frame that you've just animated and you can see live view of what you're about to animate so you can you can see a ghost so just make sure that uh, you've put that on and um, to put that on you just literally scroll the uh, it might be it sometimes it might be in uh, the, the white dot might be in the black dot so what you just need it to do is have the white dot uh, just above the black dot or you can set it to wherever it's comfortable for you but that, that's usually what the setting that I have on the right hand side on the bottom right hand side uh, you can see just uh, above the numbers uh, there are further settings that we have to set this is very important that you do this before you start animating so uh, we go into them so click on them now uh, this is the settings for the camera it is very important so uh, let's just go into camera now camera <clears throat> if you're on the blue app you will see camera and you see rear and front you might not see a green screen or remote camera um i have i have bought the purple app and i have bought the remote camera so it is if that will, will come off me if you don't buy the purple or the remote it will not come off so if you have just as the blue it'll give you a choice between front front and rear camera we go into M. M, this is very important, and this is probably going to be the, the one that's going to annoy people the most if you don't do this. Don't put it in auto, put it in AL. AL uh, will be um, the uh, focus and exposure. So when uh, that that's what I want you to click on is the AL, not the P and not the M, and absolutely not uh, auto. Um, so if, if you think about this, uh, if it was on auto, when you put your hand in, uh, your camera might focus in on your hand, then we're out of focus. If you put your hand in, you might cover the lens and it goes dark, so therefore it, it uh, changes the exposure. So keep it at L and, um, and once we get into uh, the animation, we tap on the screen, I'll show you that again when we get in there. You tap on the screen, it'll focus it and it'll set the exposure and it will not change. So click on AL and that's what you're going to use from now on. Now, exposure uh, compensation. Maybe you have a lamp that's uh, bleaching everything out. Uh, mine is a little bit on the um, right hand side. Uh, so what you can do is you can up and down the exposure. See that there? It goes dark or light. Pick something that it works for you. Pick a, 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 so it will get rid of the bleaching. So in here you can zoom in and out. I'm not going to zoom in and out. I'm going to just use what the settings that it is. In here, now this is important as well. Depending on how you set up your camera. I have my camera set up uh, with a selfie stand and it is above my table and uh, literally lads it's it's just it's uh, it, i have used right this is very important lads um depending on how you set up your camera my camera is set up uh, literally on a selfie stick above my table you can't when your camera is looking down at your table your image that you see uh, on the screen might be upside down might be back to front so this is how you um set that so that there you can uh, flip it you can uh, turn it upside down um and you can mirror it so that might be useful for me i didn't have to do anything like that i just turned the camera around so it worked for um, what i needed to do so when you've done that press the tick button and now we are ready to animate so everything should be focused if it's not focused you press the screen um, so press the screen on the characters and it will focus the characters set the exposure and then you're ready uh, to animate so what you can do now is you can press the red button so if you press the red button it will take a frame but what I uh, got was a thing of eBay and It is a remote control for a selfie stick. So it's a Bluetooth and I hooked it up to my phone 
and every time um, I press the button, it will uh, uh, take a, an image uh, on the ca on the camera, and I don't have to touch the camera. So once you set up your camera, um, just be if you don't have one of these, uh, just be careful that when you're pressing the button to activate the, taking a, a, a frame that you don't move your camera. That's why I, I, I bought one of these. You can, I got it on eBay, it's really, really cheap, um, uh, and it stops you from um, hitting or smacking up against the, um, the camera and moving stuff along. So I'm just gonna start animating, and you can see on the left-hand side that I had my onion skin on, so the, uh, the white dot is just above uh, the uh, black dot. You could move it further up, further down, it's up to you. Um, but um, I can see a ghost of my fingers. I can see a ghost of the previous frame. So um, I, I, you know, th I'm, that's good for me. So once I've finished all of my shots, you can see I've done uh, 107 shots, um, scroll through them. And uh, what I found was when I was scrolling through, I've taken a, a photograph of my hand. Um, the easiest thing is, uh, when you figure that out when you're animating, don't bother getting rid of it there. Get rid of it later and keep on animating. But um, so if you want to get rid of it now, what you do is you scroll over it, make sure the uh, blue box is around the frame that you want to get rid of, and click on it, and it'll bring this window up. So what I want to do is I want to actually get rid of three frames at the same time. So I'm going to press select. And then um, I'm going to select the frames that uh, I have my hand in it so I can get rid of them. So wherever you scroll over, it'll select. Then press the um, uh, square again, and then delete. And that'll get rid of them. So what I would do is I would uh, just scroll up and down. Now you might have a lot of these. Um, so just, just be careful because it's very annoying when you uh, finally export this and you're watching on it and you're happy with it and then you can see a hand. So uh, again, select it and then press select and then you'll be able to select two frames and then press delete. So, but if you just discover, let's say one hand, um, I think that's wrong. I think there's one here, um, yeah, um, there. If you select that and just delete it, it'll delete just one frame. So what we can do next now is uh, press the pl plus button. Now what's very important here, uh, what I want to do is I want to put in, say, an image. So the image could be something that, uh, uh, that I've taken a photograph of or robbed off the internet. I want to put in a, a, a title and credits. And that there is, a, it's very, it's random. They give you a background, they give you t uh, text, but everything is uh, editable. Uh, you can uh, do audio and audio um, uh, that's something that they, they, it provides and they, uh, it, you can do sound effects as well or you can import stuff from uh, say iTunes or uh, YouTube uh, or uh, you could have had already made a video and you can import that video in here. What's important about this is wherever you want to put uh, image, title, audio or clip, whatever you're putting in, it'll put it in where, that, um, uh, where this you've selected the, uh, the frame. So you can see that I've selected number one uh, of 79 frames. So let's just go in. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put a title in. Um, that title, I'm, just, it's, uh, I, I'm not going to do much with it, but you can see um, that I've picked the title the title on, uh, um, you can see on the right hand side has a, a blue box. Wherever the blue box is highlighted, that's editable. So you can change the letters on, you can call it whatever you want. And you can see a, a stop motion studio is another text and it's a different font. Um, select that, you can change that. You can even change the background. Um, so it's completely editable. You can do whatever you want it to. You could even put a, an image uh, in there um, that you've taken already. Now important, it's uh, I've put that title in at, um, at frame one. So it's going to start before frame one. So a common mistake is that um, some people uh, play it and their title is in the middle. The title went to what, uh, the frame that was selected. So make sure that wherever you want to put anything, whether that be sound, video, um, uh, title, 
that it will go where you have selected uh, the uh, blue frame. So I'm going to go in again and I'm going to go to audio. Now, uh, with audio, we can uh, put in recordings. Uh, we could actually do it, you know, record our voice, uh, record live music. That might be a little bit difficult, but we can um, put in team music that it provides. We can put in sound effects, which it provides, and a library. You go into library, and uh, the library would be uh, something that you already have on your phone or downloaded uh, of iTunes or uh, from YouTube or whatever, an MP3. So what I, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, team music and I'm going to put in happy boy. So happy boy, um, you can see just in the background there, there is a, a note and um, that there, again, I have frame one selected. If I wanted to put that uh, and get that music to start on frame, uh, let's say 20, I would have to have frame 20 selected, but I want this music to start at the very beginning. So I'm going to put it at uh, frame one. So once we've done that, let's have a look at it. Now it's a fairly simple animation, lads, and um, the uh, I wasn't going to spend all day animating it. But just remember, it's very important. Go through your settings, uh, and uh, uh, go whether it's the lighting exposure to get it uh, so that it's not bleached out or not too dark. But make sure that you uh, when on camera that you select not auto, definitely not auto. Select AL, and then before you start uh, shooting. You um, just press, tap the screen and it'll focus it in on everything and it, it won't go out of focus uh, on you and the, the lighting won't go up and down. So to get it, uh, to uh, get stop motion animation uh, studio, go to Apple, go to the App Store, that's the link. Android, go to Google Play, that's the link. You don't have to pay for it lads, but if you want more stuff, you need to get the purple one. I hope that, I hope that was useful.